So you still want to catch a redfish. Me too. Part two is going to help you catch fish just like those all winter long. Now, it's going to be cold and the water is going to be shallow, but there are a few benefits. You're probably not going to see a jet ski and boat traffic is going to be minimal. Did I mention it's going to be cold? You're going to need to make sure you dress appropriately to enjoy your time on the water. We've produced some videos in the past about how to dress appropriately. You should check those out. You're going to need waders, gloves, and so on. That's the only way you're going to be able to enjoy the time on the water and you got to put in time to catch the fish. Cold weather doesn't stop the fish from biting. After all, they have to eat, and I haven't missed a meal all winter. Most anglers fail to catch redfish throughout the winter because they fail to slow down. Everything slows now. The bait fish slow down, so of course the you know, predator fish slow down. They're not going to hit a topwater lure if there's nothing skipping across the surface. So think about matching the presentation. Bait slows down, so you need to slow your presentation down. You're going to catch more fish. You also need to consider fishing protected areas. Think bayous, coves, places tucked in out of the way that aren't wind blown and they're protected from northern winds. The fish will congregate there. I like to target silty shallow flats outside of creek mouths. That silt is gonna absorb the sun throughout the day. It's gonna warm up and the bait's gonna find that warm water. What follows the bait? Redfish, redfish follow the bait. Throughout the winter, I prefer to fish in the afternoons. I don't want to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and go out there and freeze my butt off. And neither do the redfish. I like to pick days where the sun's going to be out. It's going to heat those flats. And I can get out there, work those creek mouths. And some days, it's absolutely magical because the fish will stack up there. They decide they're ready to eat. And they're there, and they're easy pickings. Now, we all know these redfish can be finicky throughout the winter. The water's cold. They don't really need to eat a lot. They're not burning a lot of energy. And they can be very spooky. The water is usually cleaner than it was in the summer because the colder temperatures kill the algae. So I have three baits that I always like to have with me. One is a suspending bait, something like a 17MR or an X-Wrap 08. They're both great baits. The second type of lure I like to have is a 3-inch soft plastic bait with a quarter ounce of jig head. It's the ultimate in versatility. You can swim like a minnow or just bounce off the bottom like a shrimp or a ghost shrimp. And flexibility is really, really important. When those two lures aren't working, I have to pull out the Old Faithful. We actually use this on quite a few kayak charters and it always gets the job done when nothing else does. And that's a redfish magic. If you've never seen a redfish magic, I'm gonna put links to all those baits down below in the description. Click on them. If you actually purchase that lure from Amazon, we get a small commission and that helps us make these videos. If you're out there and you're fishing a 17 MR or an X-Wrap 08, you're gonna to need to be ready to fish slow. And the first thing you're gonna do is change those stock treble hooks because the last thing you wanna do is hook a quality fish and just have those break them hooks. It's just, uh, it'll ruin a fishing trip real quick. They're both fantastic lures and when you're fishing a suspending bait, you really can't fish it too slow. Keep that in mind when you're out there, be prepared to slow down, count to three, move the bait. If that doesn't work, count to four, move the bait, until you get to seven or ten. And depending on what the salinity level is, that bait will fall at a different rate. So keep that in mind. Toss the lure next to the kayak and see how it behaves in the water. The next bait is a three inch soft plastic lure. Now I like to pair it with a quarter ounce jig head because it'll get down to the bottom quickly and there's a bunch of current. The current won't really affect it. If you go with an eighth ounce, a lot of times the lure will move with the current and you might not feel the trout or redfish hit the lure. So keep that in mind adjust your weight to the depth and how much current you have. The other morning I fished with a gentleman named Chris. We went out, we went to an area that should have trout and redfish and we finally found them after a few different creeks and the trout were suspended in the middle of the water column. You know some of the water was two to seven feet depending on where in the creek we were and once we located those fish Chris quickly realized if he let that lure fall to the bottom and sit on the bottom he'd catch a redfish but I was fishing for trout and I kept the lure in the water column. And every time I kept the trout, I'll catch the trout every single time. But he let that lure fall to the bottom and boom, redfish. The redfish are going to bury themselves in that silt. A lot of times they don't want to move. The trout are typically more aggressive and they're suspended. So they'll eat that bait on the fall. Keep that stuff in mind when you're out there fishing. If you find the trout, a lot of times you found the redfish. You just need to approach the situation a little differently. Sometimes when you're fishing the jig, you're just gonna find out there's too much silt on the bottom, there's leaves down there, there's sticks, there's debris, and you're not gonna be able to let that lure come to a rest. 
This is when I like to switch out to the Redfish Magic. Now, the Redfish Magic is a jig head with a spinner bait. So if you're used to bass fishing, it's the same thing. The idea is to get this lure out there and just slow roll it across the bottom. Now, you're going to want to work it fast enough that it's not getting hung up. But if you hit the bottom every once in a while, a little slight little pop or two, that's great. It's going to help the fish react to it, and there's nothing wrong with that. You can adjust the depth of the lure by putting your rod tip in the air or lowering your rod as the lure comes closer to you. And that'll help you change the depth of the lure while going slow enough to keep it in the strike zone. So keep that stuff in mind. Now, if you're not familiar with the Redfish Magic, it's an awesome bait. You can use it all throughout the year. I like to use it in the wintertime just because you can work it very, very slowly. It makes a lot of noise when it's moving slow. That blade's going to be spinning. And it's just a little bit of extra attracting that I think helps catch more fish. Now, all of those tips are very, very simple. But they're going to help you catch more fish. It's important that you slow down, pay attention to your surroundings. If you find a trout, you usually found some redfish. Just slow down, get that lure to the bottom. They're different species. They behave differently, but they do frequent the same bodies of water. We appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Let us know below if these tips are helping you guys catch more fish. And as always, subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell so you're notified before everybody else. And you won't miss out on any of the awesome content we plan to release in the next few weeks. Now, we're going to release episode three. It's going to be about targeting redfish this spring. It's going to be the perfect time. It's going to help you catch more fish. As always, I look forward to you guys booking your next adventure.